on April 1, 1972, Sir Goody Goody gave the first cry as the fifth generation of Goody Goody Foundation. Goody Goody Foundation is the biggest shipping agency and extending its business in the fields of IT, retail trade, and so on. Goody Goody Foundation was established by Goody Goody the first in 1837. During the Industrial Revolution in England, there was a young man who longed to be a millionaire going for a big shot. One night, when he was walking on the street, suddenly the young man was attacked by a cat of a rare kind. Later, it was found out that the cat was a civet, which secrets a good fragments. The young man decided to keep the cat. Then, he became popular as a young man with a good fragrance among duchesses, and he earned funds to start a small shipping company. This is a young man who later became Goody Goody the first. Time passed by, and it is now the era of Papa Goody Goody the fourth. One day, he was suddenly attacked by a cat of a rare kind. And it had to be the cat of Her Majesty's. Somehow the cat was so keen on Goody Goody that it wouldn't leave him. As a result, his shipping company was acknowledged as a royal warrant company and it built a great fortune. And strangely enough, Sir Goody Goody gave his first cry next day. As a few years passed, Goody Goody became such an angel of a child and was naturally loved by everyone. He loved painting and he was always in the imaginary world. Sarah Goody Goody, who turned 15, had to become a beautiful boy of a range build. Therefore, there were a number of offers to be a model. But he was not just a beautiful boy. He loved a bicycle and bravely challenged making an around England trip by bicycle. Sarah Goody Goody, who was sensible, discovered a shortcut and returned successfully in one hour. He was such an intelligent boy. Sir Goody Goody, who was brilliant, entered in prestigious Oxford University. Naturally, he was well liked by his classmates, and also he ran for student council's president. He lost unfortunately, but his famous speech at the time is still legendary today. He also actively participated in club activity as a captain of a yacht club. At the across the Atlantic race, he had found an original course and finished the race in one hour. That team was eliminated, unfortunately, but he kept rolling cheers for his teammate. And as a result, he won best feeling great cheering at the race and got on the front page coverage of Daily Mirror. After graduation from Oxford University, he became the fifth president of Goody Goody Foundation. He thrived over the seven seas, and he matured greatly as a man of sea. He has expanded his business with overseas affiliated companies in all over the world. He has been especially fond of Japan. As the 2000s started, he has expanded his business, not only shipping, but also in diversified management. He has founded a soccer team, Goody Goody United, which was his dream come true. With his well found power, he has acquired many star players. He has also expanded his business to the fashion industry. He has played a model for his own brand taking advantage of his good-looking appearance. He has opened directly managed stores internationally, and his brand has captured the heart of people all over the world. Goody Goody, growing at a skyrocket pace, got married with Honey Goody Goody, the Madonna from the Yacht Club time. She, who loved Goody Goody like crazy, accepted readily Sir Goody Goody's nice marriage proposal. Now, he has a new member in his family and is very happy. For his family, he has sworn for his father greatly. Even though he was complaining to his close friend that his son didn't resemble him, it was a pointless concern. 
His DNA is taken over by his son without doubt.